First of all, I'd just like to endorse some of the things that Alistair was saying. One of the lessons you should all learn from today is you don't need to reinvent things. We copied the taxi marshal scheme from Falkirk. Been running for six years, huge success. The businesses love it, the customers love it, and that's part of what working together as bids we, we should be doing. So I'm going to talk to you about how Enterprise in Bathgate supports businesses and also how we've tried to improve the business environment that they're trading in. Um, we bit about Bathgate bid. Um, we've got just over 400 properties in the town centre. And we were the first uh, to declare in March 2008. So we've been around for seven years now. And I think the two um, main strengths of our bid is th that there is a strong leadership from the business community. You know, the board is a strong board um, and it enjoys a good working relationship with the council. Uh, and we're not frightened to tell them when we don't agree about things or we, we want a wee bit more from them. But we, on, on the whole, we have a, we have a very good partnership. Um, when we set out in 2008, we realised that we, we needed a bit of a plan to work with for Bathgate Town Centre. And one of the first things we did, and I think it was quite unique, was uh, we wanted a public realm design guide for our town. It hadn't been done before, but we wanted a template so that when we were moving things forward, we were all working in the same direction. Um, so we pushed for that with the council, and unfortunately the council agreed, but there was some talk about, oh, this will take some time to do. We persuaded them to let the bid team commission and manage the timescale of delivering this, this guide. Um, and I think we were quite successful. Within six months, we managed to turn this round, and in January 2009, it was adopted by the council. They had paid for it. We were just actually... Uh, pushing it along, and uh, it was adopted as a planning guidance by the Council in January 2009. And that was fortunate because that then allowed us, um, we had that in place before the Town Centre Regeneration Fund came around, along a year later, which was quite fortuitous for us because we were able to then um, spend money when we got a successful award based on what we'd already done through the, the Public Realm Design Guide. Um, the Public Realm Design Guide looked at the town centre, looked at its strengths, looked at its weaknesses. It's something we're still working from to this day. In fact, in the next month, we've got a meeting with the council where we're going to move on from the work that was done uh, previously on this. And uh, it's, it, it, I'm very pleased that we, we carried that out. Um, what we did with the town centre regeneration fund money, we, we managed to redevelop the main public spaces in the town centre, which has given us an ideal location for events in the town centres. You know, so um, whether it's car and bike rallies, shop local events, the usual Christmas event, um, Halloween events, but the, the old type, we've got a music festival as well now. But we didn't have a space that we could really do that in, but we've, we've got that now. Um, also want to speak about the Partnership Centre, which is a council property in, in the town centre, right in the heart of the town centre. This um, has made, is really insignificant. Uh, you know, I think the, the Scottish Government have got a policy around you know, um, town centres first, where they hope that, you know, that, that public buildings and that will still be located in employment created in the public sector within town centres. The Partnership Centre has been a huge success story in Bathgate. Um, I can tell you that there were six properties within the bid area that were closed and everything was moved into this. Um, the Partnership Centre enjoys a footfall of 30,000 people per month. Now for a town centre the size of Bathgate, that's, that's a huge figure. Um, in October 2014 it had its one millionth visitor. And it's a, it's a real community hub. Um, places like the advice shop, the library, information services, and lots of other council employees are based, are based there. The community centre is based there. The old community centre, there were 24 groups operating out of it. There are 50 groups meeting every week in the, the new community centre. So looking at, I mentioned how some properties um, had closed. The good thing in Bathgate was every one of the, new, the old council properties have been adapted and 
We can see some examples here on the screen. Turpy & Co, very successful and award-winning um, estate agents and letting agents. The old library is turned into a nursery. And the, um, what was previously the adult education is now a, um, a retail unit for home improvements, um, including bathrooms, but we'll, we don't need to go there. Um, with the other thing that we've, we've tried to encourage is the adaptation of the older properties to retain them. So a couple of recent examples is where um, the old red sandstone property sits in a very prominent position near the partnership centre, has become um, 1912 Cafe Bar, which is also is an award-winning pub. Uh, just this past few months, in the street that I've got my own business, old Victorian property has been completely renovated, stripped back to show its original features and become a very modern and large hairdressing salon. All of these things were supported by the Premises Improvement Scheme, which you heard a wee bit about earlier on. We started a, a, a premises scheme, originally a pilot scheme when we were developing the bid. It was a basic shop front scheme. But we listened to what people were saying and we developed it. We improved the scope and uh, introduced some banding as well to take into account the size of the properties that we were giving grants to. And now we run a scheme every year. And uh, I think some of the, the figures around that are, are quite impressive. Um, to date, 498 grants have been awarded by Enterprise in Bathgate. And that amounted to more than £280,000. Um, in the current scheme, we've already handed out 65 grants, or 41,000. But the big figure here is that the documented expenditure in support of the claims for this show that the business community have spent more than £2 million. So that, that's a huge investment from the business community in Bathgate. Um, that therefore represents a, a ratio of about 7 to 1. And I'm led to believe from people in the public sector that's not, not too shabby. This is some examples of the businesses that have taken advantage of, of our scheme. I want to tell you a wee bit now about a new scheme, something that's just been around this past few months. We've launched a Choose Bathgate campaign. The first phase of that was to promote Bathgate as a place where you could set up a business or expand your business, relocate your business even and just marketing the town centre itself. We have poster sites, for example, at the railway station where you know, people who have set up businesses, um, either long established businesses or new businesses, explain why they chose Bathgate. And that was the first part of the campaign. The second phase of the campaign is the setting up of an online guide for the businesses. Um, I hope that maybe later on you, you all have a wee look at this. It's early days. Um, it's, it's something that's been populated uh, gradually. But if you Google Choose Bathgate and you'll find a, an online guide there to the businesses and service in the town. And I'm particularly impressed at the way the quality and the design of this site. Um, it, it's really looking good. It's, you can use it on, on laptops. You can use it on tablets and smartphones. Um, and what we are offering to the businesses, what we did a few months ago, we offered the businesses a page on this, and we'll get it, we'll pay for that to be designed for you. What we wanted to do was to make sure there was a consistency in the quality of the design, and it really sold the, the, the businesses. Um, we weren't just leaving it in their hands, because some people find that a wee bit daunting if you, if you give them a password and say, please, you know, put, put in your own entry. So we offered them that to give them a confidence and help with it. Um, this is the offer that, that, that we made to people. We reckon that by, at the moment, the first, I think there's about 25, first 25 are, are on it. We've got a waiting list. It means that we fully expect that about 150 businesses will be on this by, by the summer. Um, this is a typical page that we're offering them. Um, it's got links to their social media, to um, Twitter and Facebook. It's interactive with, with Google Maps and Street View. And um, it's something else that we're really quite proud of. 
Um, I thought back at the start, you know, that a bid was never, it was never going to be a short-term thing. It was never going to be for the five years. What I find difficult now is to imagine what Bathgate Town Centre would be like without bid status. And I, more convinced than ever, that a bid's the most effective way to deliver a vibrant town centre with a sustainable future. Thank you.